Good morning everyone, welcome to your Friday Fitness. This week you're gonna talk about core strength. Who doesn't love that? So one of the things we wanna look at in making sure that our core is balanced and strong is our actual balance. So how many times have you ever tried to go up the stairs and you trip going up? I know I have. So one of the things that we're gonna look at when we want to work on our core strength Crunches are not the answer. I know everybody thinks, oh, if I do enough abdominal curls or reverse curls or whatever, that's going to help with my core strength. What we want to incorporate is your core strength plus balance plus stability so that you've got all things and you're encompassing everything within your workout. So forward, come back to center and rotate to the right. So the rotations in the hips and you're stabilizing from the core and the adductors, of course. So when you switch sides, let me know in the comments which side was better for you, your left or your right. So again, we're going to start with the leg behind, pull everything in and tilt forward and come up. Now we're going to add the rotation. I think we just noticed that answer. My left side's stronger than my right. So try both sides and see. What you'll find is one side's going to be more balanced than the other, one side's going to be stronger than the other, and that's totally normal. But what you do want to do is then focus on the weaker side and work that one first. Work through however, however many reps that you can do. So for an example, my left side's weaker, so I need to, I can do three, that means I'm going to go on the right side and I'm going to do three until both sides are equal strength. That's how it works. So the next thing we want to look at is a plank. Most people hate a plank, but they are the best thing that you can do. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of progressions of what you can do when we start. Because you don't just start with a plank. What you can start with is when you're in tabletop, you're going to walk your hands forward so they're on an angle and then tilt your hips body forward and drop. So this is not a plank. This is a plank. We're going to retract our shoulders. I'm going to come over here so you can see me. We're going to retract the shoulders, pull your shoulders away from your ears, tuck your tailbone under, pull the abdominals in. This is the start of a plank. So when you're in a plank position, whether you're on your elbows, if your wrists are too sore, on your elbows, you can start here. Same rules apply. You're going to squeeze your glutes, pull the abdominals in, and retract your shoulders in order to hold. And then from there, we're going to work on progression. So the next one is actually a side plank with rotation. I'm going to show you on your knees first and then we're gonna elevate that to the sides of your feet. So when you're on the side, you're starting on your hand, you're always going to keep your hand directly below your shoulder for stability, and it takes away the pressure from the wrist. You're gonna pull your feet behind you, so when you go up, everything is in line. Now, if you have a problem with your wrist, grab a block, put your hand on it, and it takes some of the pressure out of your wrist and pulls it into the shoulder where it should be. Now everything's in a straight line. Maybe this is as far as you go, but if you want to try the rotation, you're going to turn at the waist. Pull the abdominals in as your arm comes down and through. Keep it controlled. And you're using your shoulder to move your arm as you can pull the transverse abdominal in and you're getting that contraction. So it's not a swing, your arm's not doing any of this, it's the work through the rotation as you go down. And then release. So, I'm going to do the other side. If you want to advance that, plant your feet, the top foot goes behind, your hand is in line, we're up in a plank, and same idea, except my hand's in the wrong spot. And 
and that's your side plank. The last one is a shoulder tap. So again, when we're looking functional strength, full mobility, full strength, we want to use the whole body in order to do that. So you can start on your knees or your toes. Again, when you're in tabletop, walk your hands out and shift your body forward. Readjust your palms so the palms are directly below your shoulders. Retract your shoulders, separate your knees, plant your feet, and tap. Now, the idea is not to swing your body side to side. You don't want to do that. You want to engage your abs and your glutes enough so that nothing shifts. You're really balancing and stabilizing. Of course, the progression is up on the toes. If you're feeling strong enough, you're gonna separate your feet The challenge, of course, is doing it and talking. Anyway, these are three, four exercises in order to help you strengthen your core and get better balance.